Welcome back. This is kind of the special video I want to make. This is pretty much similar to the Twinkle Stars one I did. Uh, this is, I guess, kind of review, I don't know what to call this, of uh, Lisa Lot. I don't, I don't know if that's how I actually say the name. Lisa Latte? I'm going to go with Lisa Lot. And Witches Forest, which is, um, this is a series that Natsuki Takia made after she made Twinkle Stars. So she made Fruits Basket, and then she made Twinkle Stars, and then she made, slash, is kind of, kind of currently making Lisa Lot. Um... And what I mean by that is that, from it's what I mean by that is it's currently on hiatus and it's been on hiatus for a, a good couple of years now. Um, the and I, I the rumor that I had kind of read recently going around on the internet was that I guess she had gotten sick or injured or something. I don't really know. Um, and so she had put Lisa and I on hiatus. And then when whoever it was that suggests whoever pretty much whenever the um, the Fruit Basket Collector's Editions pretty much came about, not when they were announced, obviously, because it was happened before it, but pretty much, I guess, they, they whoever it was said, oh, how about you, like, they try, I guess, like, Hana Toyumi or somebody tried to, like, was trying to ease her back into, like, drawing manga again, and so they suggested, oh, how about you do just, like, a light one-off type series of short story or something. So she ended up kind of as a promotion for uh, Fruits Bath, the collector's edition, uh, doing Fruits Basket Another, which she is still currently doing, so that's why this is on hiatus. Um, however, I don't know if that story is true or not. That's just kind of what I read on the internet about it. About, uh, kind of revolving this and why this originally went on hiatus. Um, now, my experience with Lisa Lot is a bit different than, actually it's quite a bit it's quite a lot different than my experience with Twinkle Stars. Twinkle Stars, I had initially had seen the last, or had seen images from the last chapter that had, had that had characters who looked like Kyo and Toru in it, um, and so I had wanted to read it, however, despite the fact that the series had been completed for years, um, it took a while for the English scanlations to finally catch up and actually, it took a good couple of years, like, maybe at least two or three years for it to finally um, go through and actually get to the end of the series. Least a lot, however, is a bit different because it, it, I think there's maybe like five, six, something like that, chapters that came out in scanlated form, and unlike the Twinkle Stars ones where it actually was like, oh, you could actually read all of it and none of the pages were out of order or anything, a couple of the chapters in the scanlated versions of Lisa Lot that didn't get very far, like some of the text was really hard to read, and sometimes they move pages around, and other times it was like they had like the beginning of one chapter at the beginning at, of another, and it was weird. The scanlations aren't very good, so when this was announced by Yen Press that they had that they had um, picked it up that they'd picked up Lisa Lot, I was excited. And I still am, because it means that I actually finally get to read Lisa Lot, and I actually get to I actually kind of find out what the story is actually about and whatnot. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. I knew that was gonna fall over. Doesn't want to stay up. I'll hold it. So this is book one. Now volume three just did come out in January, but I just haven't gotten around to getting it yet. Um, Let's go the front, get the back, get the spine. Um, I really like what they did with the text for the, the or the font for the text, because it, I don't know, it feels like it fits the aesthetic to the series. That, that's how the, you know, because it's all, it kind of has this, I don't know, foresty, old, I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it, it, it fits, it feels like it fits with the rest of the series. Now, of course, I haven't actually finished the series yet. I haven't, I haven't actually read the majority of these yet. I've been kind of busy, but I do plan on actually reading this so I can actually give a proper opinion of this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and read the, the back description just so you can have a little bit of an understanding of what's, what it's about. It says, uh, despite completely Despite being completely hopeless at, at endeavors like farming and cooking, at least a lot, a young lady of noble birth picks up and moves to a remote land with only the twins, Alto and Anna, by her side. 
At the easternmost reaches of her new home lies a forest where it said witches roam. When Lise one day finds herself at the receiving end of an attack by one such witch, she's saved by a young man named Engetsu. Though they're strangers, Engetsu is remarkably similar to somebody she already knows. And that's the end of the description. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the couple little colored pages it has. It has this colored page, which got Lisa Lot, got Anna, got Elto, and then this is Engetsu over here. Um, and there's another one here. Um, and, yeah, there's a good couple of these chapters that I'm just like, I, I look back at it, because I remember reading, I read I read the Scanlations a couple of times, um, thinking that maybe they had updated it, because it had been, because it had been, usually when I ended up reading it, it had been a while, and I'd forgotten how, if I had, how long, how much I'd actually read of it, and said, oh, maybe it updated, never did. So I've been so I'd go through this and be like, yeah, that's that's just repeating itself. Some not not the story itself, but how the scanlations put it had it laid out. Um, so we got the thank you page here at the end, a monochromatic version of the cover, a, another monochromatic version of one of the colored pages, and a preview for the next volume, and that's it. Um, so then with volume two, this is, of course has Engetsu on the front of it. Um, and we got the back. And then we got the spine. This one's a bit weird because it only has one colored page in it. So here. Or I guess it's not weird. It's just how it is. And then it's just funny because it's blank on the other side. It's like, okay, it's kind of weird. But yeah, see, I don't really remember seeing this character before. When I was reading through the scanlated versions, there's there's certain things in here. Going, I don't remember. I don't remember certain things, and I'm going. I don't. I don't think the scanlations really got that far in the series. Like I don't remember. I don't ever remember seeing this guy right here with the eye patch in the scanly and the scanlated versions. So I'm going, I don't. So it's it's a bit different, but it's good. It's good that. Because I'm not, I'm actually going to be able to read it. But here's the um, thank you page, a preview for the next volume, which I definitely don't remember anything like that from when I read it. Um, translator's notes, and then a monochromatic of the color. Cover. Cover, not color, that makes sense. Um, now, again, because I've only read roughly about the first five chapters of the series, and I haven't actually, unlike with Twinkle Stars, where I'd actually read all of the series and because they had actually put out all the series, and then, so I could actually, when I did my Twinkle Stars of Volume 1 review, or review, I don't know what to call it, whatever, when I did my video on that, I could actually recommend it because I had actually read all the series. This one, however, of course, one of the problems being that it in itself is on hiatus, but the also problem, at least coming from me, is that I've only really read about the first five chapters, and it's just, and that's because that's all the scanlations I've ever really scanlated. And it's been years, years since it's been updated. Um, but I mean, based on the first five chapters, I'd say that it's it's pretty. I'd say it's good. I I'm, I'd have to continue reading to see where it goes, but it's it's good and it it's interesting, making everything fall over here. Um, and I'm I'm curious as to seeing as to where the story goes and whatnot. Um, so I mean, that's really about it. Um, I'll, whenever, next time I go to Barnes & Noble's almost, if they have Volume 3, I'll pick up Volume 3, because last time I went there, they didn't have Volume 3, which is why I didn't pick it up in the first place. Um, but I'll pick it up whenever, you know, next time I go there. Um, and then the only other thing, and that's really about it, but the only other thing is, um, I'm, I need to, I'll have my, uh, Yen Press versus, the Japanese versus the English one of Volume 9 of Fruits Basket. That should be coming out pretty soon, because um, that doesn't take that long to make. Um, and other than that, I mean, again, I'm still kind of working on the whole, trying to figure out if I'm going to keep my Blu-ray versus DVD and Yen Press versus Tokyo Pop volumes of Fruits Basket on hiatus until the summertime, or if I might just continue on doing them. 
Um, just be, I just need maybe a couple more weeks, maybe a week, week or so more, and then I'll just to kind of determine how you know school's going and whatnot um, in terms of workload. Um, but other than that, it's really about it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.